a ring that travels Florida in stealing from big box stores found out the hard way they should not have come to Flagler County. A statewide shoplifting ring busted by the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Rick Staley. Deputies were alerted to the thieves at town center and responded. When they challenged the suspects, the driver attempted to strike a deputy and flee the scene with his vehicle. Deputies pursued the vehicle using stop sticks, and when the suspect attempted to avoid the stop sticks, he lost control and crashed his vehicle into the woods on State Road 100 and Interstate 95, and all three suspects were apprehended. Turned out that the three suspects had multiple fugitive warrants for three different counties in Florida for the same type of activity. But they learned the hard way that coming to Flagler County was not in their best interest. They were arrested for stealing over $2,000 worth of merchandise locally, and a search of the vehicle resulted in thousands of dollars more in value of other merchandise stolen from other stores in other communities. The investigation is still ongoing. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, March 14th. The Advent Health Foundation of Palm Coast has coordinated the donation of some life-saving equipment for the Bunnell Police Department. With the goal of equipping every city of Bunnell police car with an automatic external defibrillator, AED, which is pretty pricey, Chief David Brannan connected with John Subers, Foundation Director at Advent Health Palm Coast, who agreed to assist with the project. I had been looking at different grants and other options. And then I reached out to Advent Health Foundation in Palm Coast and met with their foundation director and told him the project that I was working on. And he expressed interest in wanting to help me with that. Brandon says Advent Health Foundation's contribution means a lot. The foundation agreed through the hospital to acquire the AEDs for us at their pricing, which uh, saved us almost $1,000 per unit. So ultimately, we were able to get those four AEDs and they were presented at the commission meeting this past Monday night. Research shows AEDs can make the difference between life and death before an ambulance arrives. Brennan says he's now seeking grants for 12 more AEDs to equip every police vehicle. And adds the relationship with Flagler County makes it more of a privilege to serve the people of Bunnell to the fullest. For folks to step up like this and help us out, you know, with a, a big expense like this, it just kind of furthers the true respect and love I think the folks here have for law enforcement. And we're just very grateful for that. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Yes, it's true. We're at a 26-month high. Yes, we have a 4.1% unemployment rate. And um, part of the reason is, is because people are not here spending money. We're digging deeper into the latest unemployment numbers for Flagler County. President and CEO Greg Blase with the Palm Coast Flagler Regional Chamber of Commerce says consumers are dealing with inflation. They're unsure about the strength of the economy and therefore they aren't spending as much money. Really, since 2020, the consumer sentiment numbers have been declining in Florida for quite some time. Now, they have been recovering. Uh, We're at a 74.1 consumer sentiment rating. Uh, The numbers last year were down in the mid to upper 60s. So people are beginning to feel more comfortable with spending money as the economy begins to recover. But we're still not even anywhere close to where we were when COVID and the years before that. Blase with a look at the numbers year over year. Flagler County residents that are employed is checking in at 49 and a half thousand approximately. So we've seen the growth there. The number of unemployed residents looking for work in Flagler County is up to uh, 2,130 residents. That's an increase of 300 residents compared to the same time period last year. Blase says all in all, the local economy is still in good shape. I guess the bottom line to the residents that are hearing this is a 26 month high, 4.1% unemployment rate. These things do set off alarm bells, but when we look at them in the context of where we are as a community, uh, it's really not that surprising. And a 4.1% unemployment rate is not unhealthy. So there's no reason to panic. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.